How's it going guys? So this is Dr. Sot at Specific Chiropractic, providing guys at Chiropractic Manhattan, MIC. So we got a special guest over here. Cool sense, sir. What can I do for you? I have pain in neck, lower back. Used to have shooting pain down my arms. Uh, it was hard for me to lift, carry stuff. I had to stop sports that I used to play. Basketball, boxing, wrestling. Gotcha. So how is that um, the neck problem affecting you when you do boxing? I couldn't really throw the punches that I used to throw. It would, I, my arms got weaker basically. Okay, so what in particular, what uh, what what type of punch you notice is the worst? What punch, straights, uppercuts, hooks? What it do you notice mostly? Most? Right hooks, uh, uppercuts, jabs. Not that much, but jabs too. Okay, what about straights? No problems with straights. What do you mean, like straight punch? Or yeah, what? a straight punch. Yeah, sometimes that would, would be hard for me to reach. I would feel tingling over here. Gotcha. But a hook would, would do it the most. Oh, yeah. A right. right hook or... Left hook, not too much of a problem. Not that much, yeah. But the right hook is... The right side is mostly... Gotcha. Understood. So to the viewers, the reason why I'm asking about these particular type of punches in boxing is that not many people are aware of that a boxer's power actually comes from the hip. Yeah. All right? And they have, and the pelvis itself is loaded up like a spring, and that's why the particular motions that he is doing, okay, what he's doing is like particularly how he's loading up the loading up the spine itself. So the biomechanics, that's what I'm seeing in the spine itself. So the fact that a jab itself it doesn't yeah, challenge yeah. too much, right? Whereas a hook, it really springs the whole entire body around. Yeah. Okay, and what about the the upper upper uh, cuts? Upper cuts, it's. Mostly if I, like if I'm punching a bag and I hit it, mm -hmm. I'll feel the pain on the arm. Gotcha, gotcha. Going right. up this way. So that's what I'm envisioning right now. His spine, in my mind, the biomechanics, where the potential uh, issues are. So we're gonna take a closer look, see what's really going on in you. We went over the history and the fact that he liked the box and these problems are affecting him, especially with that right hook. Taking a quick look at that x-rays, I can see why that right hook is aggravating things, but it's traced all the way straight down. He has a problem in the pelvis, and that thing sticking out a sore thumb. So we're going to take a closer look with this instrumentation over here. Now, basically, when the tissue gets damaged, there is that inflammatory process. There's going to be swelling, edema, muscle splinting, just try to stabilize the joints. Now, I do see some trouble spots over here that's like glaring out. There's one over here, no one over here, no one over here, and you got this big patch fluid over here. So now the body's gonna start increasing the vascular supply because it's trying to bring more fellas into the place, the white blood cells. And then, hey guys, go check that area out, go start repairing whatever damaged tissues in there. So increase, so the increased vascular supply. One of the side effects is going to be increased heat. And that's what this device picks up. It's going to pick up that increased heat itself. And that's what we're marking at these particular levels. And the fact that I'm already preparing and seeing my mind in terms of uh, also visualization, these areas where I marked pretty much doesn't surprise me. It just helps confirm I'm not a data I'm observing. In C5, C6, I have uh, between C5 and C6, the metal, I mean, the meat part mm -hmm. is out of place to the right side. So, awesome. I'm sorry, say what again? You, you put a needle there? What? No, 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 C5 and C6. Uh -huh. What about them? The meat, I forget what you call it. Uh, like that small meat between it. Uh -huh. The disc. Out of place, yeah, the disc. It's out of place to the right. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. okay, let's take a look. So there's some swelling here. How's this? Pain? Tender? Yeah. What about this fella here? It's... Which was worse, the right side or left side? Left. Really? This is just great. Oh. That's that's more so, yeah. See, this is a brick wall. This is not movement. It's right hip. Left hip is somewhat stuck. Ten right there too, huh? Uh, yeah. 
go with this right here. Not that much. You sure about that? Yeah. You like that? <laughs> yeah, fuck love boys in trouble. Oh, this is right here. Yeah, not too great there. That's how it was. Yeah. Mm. Right there. Yeah, he's not too happy right here either. Okay, we're gonna start re-examining things. Now, based on your data and the history where you said like, okay, try to throw a right hook, right? And it caused a lot of pain over here. What gives? So when I take a look at the biomechanics of your spine itself, your whole entire spine is like, one part is going this way, another part is going this way, another part going this way, another part going that way, okay? So every time you're doing that right hook, you're actually twisting your whole entire spine even more. So what caused that in the first place is actually your right hip. The right hip itself, you see this go to a full line over here? That's supposed to be smack in the middle. But however, when I'm seeing your whole entire pelvis, okay, is the fact that you're twisted, you're already in this position. So by doing that right hook, you're twisting even more. So you're saying you stand in so I'm already in this position. You are already in this position. So when you do a right hook, you're twisting even more. And it's like, okay, that's not fun. But here's the thing. You know anyone who can walk this way? No. You can't, right? Not yet. So <laughs> I know, right? You try. But our head has to be here. Yeah. So that's what your body did was compensating like this. Okay. So every time you do that right hook, you're twisting even more. And your head's over here. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's why it's not fun. Okay, so that's what the real answer is going to be. We have to address this one over here. Now, what is more interesting also is the fact that your body is trying to recompensate for this significant twist you got over here with this fourth lumbar. Now, the rest of your spine, normally when that fella is misaligned this way, okay, the rest of your spine should follow. It did. You went this way. So it should, like it says, should go this way. Instead, it went opposite direction and load up your spine that way. So therefore, the way we're going to adjust your spine, okay, for most guns and dogs and students, that's what you got to keep in mind. And that's just explain to them that we don't want to do a EX pull maneuver because that would actually, you're already here and your spine's the rest of your spine is this way. So when we do a pull move, we're gonna twist even more this way. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna like it. So, in order to address this part, if we do a push mover, we're gonna start rebouncing, knock out two birds with one stone. Gotcha. So that's how we're gonna address this one first. I'm gonna re double check, see what's going on over here, here, and there. Let's rock and roll. There you go. Music to the ears. <laughs> Come on up. Go ahead. Walk up and down for me. Put all a couple of punches on. You could if you want. <laughs> Sorry, don't have a rope over here. You're going like, uh, you're Bob and Weave. <laughs> <laughs> Feels better. So tell me, what's different in there? Relief. Relief. In what way? It's tightness. What's this? Go ahead. Throw me a, a nice gentle right hook there. Jab or... How do they feel? What's yeah. different here? Soft, smoother. Soft and smoother. Nice. Hey, try an uppercut. It's good. So how much better would you say compared to before? Let's say 8 out of 10. Nine. 9 out of 10. Nice. So we do need to address this because this is the biomechanics of your shoulders. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you throw a nice, nasty, wicked hook there. Yeah. That's a trouble right there. God. Ooh. 
Where is that fella? Come on up, walk around. That was the one what? Oh. I couldn't even do this. I feel pain when I do this. And now it feels like... Okay, so? Throw some punches there. See what you can do. Tell you like. It's bad. So? <sighs> what other difference you notice with it? Nice. What about the, the neck? I didn't even notice after that. <laughs> no problems when you're doing the punches? Not as much. Over here, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna get to it. Put that little slice up in there. Right there. Oh, there it is. Oh. See how you like it now. Uh -huh. It's good. Put your hand like this. Okay. Go ahead and raise it all straight forward. Put it down. Okay, that's a pop in there. Sideways. Put it down. It's pain. No, that's where I see where your shoulders out. Okay. Move over this one. Do the same thing with this one. Yeah, that's really helpful. Okay, sideways. Go ahead. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. These are out. Okay, so SC joint slightly out. Let's set this first. There it goes. AC. Not too bad. Humorous. It's out. Let's set this poor fella. We still got some more to do that one. Okay, throw some punches, see how you like. Yeah. Slide it. Alright. How much you improve what you say from previously? From before I can't tell now, let's see. Seven out of ten. Seven point five out of ten. Seven point five, so seventy five percent better, huh? All right. I love it, brother. Let's hope we get out. Huh? Let's hope we get out of here, champs. 